Okay, this is the um, video to show you how to write a function to calculate something we call it least squares fitting. If you have a data uh, from experiment or anything like that and you want to get a, a function for these data. The previous YouTube I did for the linear one like linear one we have a straight line y equal mx plus b that's the easiest least square fitting in this one i'm going to show you in case if we have a non-linear so the function is y equal to um, a that's a constant plus b times x plus c times x square so our goal to find these three coefficients a b and c and then we can put it at the uh, at the like the fun as you see here the function f of x equal a some constant plus b times x plus c times x squared that's the only square starting from the beginning by writing the <coughs> name of the function any name you like but should be related to what we're doing so the out call it I, I call it fit none so like square fitting with non-linear one and n is the number of the points you are going to put uh, of course as much as you put a uh, lot of points you will get the best fitting now let's define a vector call it vector one then I'll ask you to uh, put or to type the values of x component of the of the endpoints you you have then we are going to save it <coughs> as um, um, like a vector call it x same thing we do here for the y components for the endpoints and we save it as y what do we need we need like each component of x we need to multiply it by y so i create another vector i call it x y equal to x dot star y that is going just to multiply each element of vector x with the corresponding element of the vector y and then <coughs> another vector i call it x 2 y that's x square times y and then i need x square by itself and i need x cube by itself and i need x to four by itself since we prepare these as vectors <coughs> n as i mentioned is the number of the element in x or in y both of them they should be the same compose a square matrix in this case three by three because we are looking for three coefficients a b and c <coughs> so the first row of the of this um, square matrix is n second one is the sum of x <coughs> third one is the sum of x squared second row sum of x sum of x squared sum of x cubed and the third row <coughs> sum of x squared sum of x cubed and the sum of x to 4 since we get this which is the most important one that's <coughs> matrix M we need the now ready to calculate the values of A B C respectively so we need the inverse of M that inverse of M multiply it by a column vector column vector of <coughs> 3 times 1 and the first element is the sum of y second element is the sum of x times y and the third element is the sum of x square times y <coughs> and then we get what we need let's run it <coughs> with some values and <coughs> so what do i call it fit I call it fit none <coughs> excuse me yeah fit none 
so fit none and then let's say we'll put just three numbers for ease <coughs> enter the values of x put these kinds of brackets let's say we put one two and three just to be sure they show us and then we need the values of y let's say our function is like x squared minus one so one squared one minus one so first one would be zero now two squared <coughs> four minus one that's three and the third one three squared is nine minus one that's eight enter these are the values a which is the y-intercept how high or how low the function is is zero because we didn't put any like three term and <coughs> um, b equals to b equals to um, sorry negative one and a equal negative one b equal to zero that's the coefficient of x uh, as you remember like our function I put it just x squared minus 1 I didn't put x so if there is some like you could try it um, anyway the only thing you need is to catch a is the first one b the second and c is the third one if you have <coughs> any problem you could email me at dr at gmail.com thanks for watching my video and wait for the like I have some of these the small functions <coughs> to calculate uh, some really useful things in mathematics and calculus thank you very much and hope you enjoy it